Hey guys, Cow here bringing you another video. This one is going to be Town Hall 9. We're going to be doing the technical upgrade series where we're going to be maxing out the important offensive capabilities of each Town Hall before moving on. We're going to have relatively rushed defenses as the defenses don't do much for us when it comes to our offense and our enjoyment of the game. So, we're just going to be maxing out offense and then moving on. Currently, we're upgrading our dragon. And then we're going to upgrade our zaps. And then once that is done, we will be maxing out maybe balloons or other farming troops such as the goblins and the barbarians as well as archers and wall breakers but as we also are in war constantly we might have to consider our war army a bit more than we would otherwise but nonetheless we're going to be starting with if you're enjoying this content make sure to like and subscribe and if you want to join the clan you can do so by requesting and just saying YouTube and I will accept you as soon as I get on. The clan is going to be fun, we just war and uh, to level up and we just try to level up our clan capital to help us all um, get enough raid medals to farm and uh, sustain as well as all go up in our farming adventure together as a clan. So. With that out of the way, let's get right into the upgrades here. Currently, we are upgrading our army camps first, as they are the most important, especially now with this Halloween event, where our troops are so broken, having more of them earlier is much better than not. Uh, we already upgraded our lab. Upgrading our lab means that we can take full advantage of the town hall boost, giving us max troops for a short period of time, three days and 11 hour, uh, three days and one hour left here. After that, we're like, to, we would like to be able to have access to all our troops. So we'll be upgrading our barracks, getting uh, barracks, spell factories, um, all that good stuff until that is maxed. And once that is all maxed, we will upgrade our clan castle this actually the clan castle is before the barracks but after the army camp but after that um those three things are maxed out we'll be dropping our heroes until they are maxed and then we will be moving on to town hall 10 upgrading any defenses that uh along the way that we will need upgraded as we have three builders and hopefully we'll have four soon Meaning that we'll have one spare one for defenses as we're upgrading our heroes. And once we get the fourth one, we'll have two extras until we're done with the heroes. So, that is the path <clears throat> that we are be going to be taking. So, let's just do a war attack to kind of show off these new troops. If you watch all the videos, you might realize that we're recording these all on the same day. And we're all crushing some souls at the same time. So we have a queen. Um, so we can attack something not super high, but we can do something pretty okay. We're number 16 here, which means that we can probably attack number 15 and not be too crazy. As we only have two bases down here and we have, uh, we'll have two attacks anyways so we can go up a little bit higher let's hopefully be able to take this out we're only town hall 9 taking out a town hall 10 the town hall 10 of course is not very upgraded but we still have to deal with it nonetheless we're going to be ignoring this queen because we can double zap out this air defense right here as they are too close going to take advantage of that once that gets zapped out we'll deal with the cc and then come in well, that means this air defense will be left, this air defense will be left. So, we want to be able to take out these Inferno Towers. So, we probably want to start here and whip around this way. Is probably the best course of action, because that's most likely to take out this Inferno Tower. There's also, we can come in this way. 
and whip around, because through coming in this way, we'll take out this air defense as uh, this inferno tower as well as the archer queen. So, and then whip around this way, but that will skip out on this one. So I think we want to come this way to pretty much guarantee that we take out that Inferno Tower, I think, is the best course of action. Or we just come in this way and then go that way. We might do that and then it just wraps around. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I think we're going to do the final thing right there to take out that Inferno Tower, as Inferno Tower is probably the most important thing to take out on this base. So let's go right into it here. We're going to drop a archer way too far, I guess. Uh, I thought that would be close enough to lure out that CC, but I guess not. We'll zap. Oh, we have plenty of zaps to take out everything here. So we're going to get this dragon out of this base like this. Then we'll drop this as well as help take out that dragon with that dragon. Um... Okay, because that's the case, we'll just zap out this like that. And once that's been taken out, we'll come straight into this uh, Inferno Tower, dropping it all like this, so that the crash damage is guaranteed to take it out. I don't want to have to deal with that later. Then here, we're just going to zap out this Inferno Tower when the beams heat up. And you can kind of listen for it but it looks like it's just going to get taken out right away. Uh, and we're going to have plenty of cleanup for this base. And yeah, it's crushed, it's over. And that's just what Lava Loom do. Uh, I do want to show one replay, though, of a defense we had. If you are trying to defend against the Lava Loom in Clan Wars, but you don't know what to put in your CC... Inferno dragons are very good. Any type of dragon is good. I don't think Electro Dragon is very good because they don't have enough time to really defend themselves against all the pups. But I think Inferno Ta Inferno dragons do definitely have the punch to quickly take out, uh, to take out these lava loons. So the opponent here is zapping us out, and. Uh, thinking about where to go, but they come straight into our double Inferno Dragon, and they're just melting these, uh, these guys right, right away, it's just like, boom, it's dead, boom, it's dead, we did get pushed away a little bit here, but the Inferno Dragons take out the pups really efficiently, and they can just kind of move on to the next, uh, thing they want to take out, they have enough bite to take out these dragons and enough tanking to kind of live through it it's they're they're very strong and i think will do you well especially when they're doing the mass balloons uh lava loon it will probably be pretty decent but at town halls higher up i definitely do recommend a super dragon over a regular dragon they'll be able to do you quite well so that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you all did enjoy. And of course, like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to get to a thousand so that YouTube will think we're real. And uh, we'll celebrate by doing some giveaways. Probably going to do somewhere between one and four gold passes. But of course, I'll do some research on how to do that so I can do it correctly. But nonetheless, hopefully you all did enjoy the video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.